What's up everybody, this is Spectacular Smith and welcome to the Spectacular Experience. What's up everybody, this is Spectacular Smith and welcome to the Spectacular Experience. Alright everybody, today I want to get into mindset because I feel like this is the biggest thing ever. People talk about it, but I don't feel like people are implementing it into their lives as much as people should be. Because one thing about mindset is that when you actually push your mind to the hardest path, it can actually take you to places that you can never dream of, you know? And I think that in life, period, it's just a big mind game. And you're your own competitor. You're your own competition at all times. When you fighting against yourself, that's a whole nother situation. So you got to be focused on what matters to you and build your mindset around that. Figuring out what all the things that you have to do to equip yourself with the right mindset. You got to reprogram your brain and own it. You have to program your brain to what you want it to do. So if you want your brain to go through certain things and then learn from those things, but not only just learn from, but own it, take ownership with those things that you went through and use it as a stepping stool, use it as a strength, a superpower that you can actually hold, you know, dear to your heart and give you strength and that extra power you need to push. Because at the end of the day, your brain is always trying to find a less difficult path. That's what it's programmed to do regardless. Automatically, it's going to go left if going hard is going right. Shift it to that hard thing that's going to challenge you and make you uncomfortable. Because when you put yourself in that uncomfortable state of mind, you build that mindset that you can actually challenge yourself. Then you can overcome anything that's getting thrown your way, no matter what. And honestly, when it comes to defeat, because you're going to go through that in life, you know, no matter who you are, you can be the biggest player in the game to the smallest player in the game. You're going to go through defeat. Right. But the best victory, the best victory is being your very best when you're at your worst. When you get defeated and you feel like everything is against you, the world is against you, nothing is working. You become your best when you're at your worst. When your back is against the wall and my cat is meowing in the background. <laughs> uh, you know, you got to understand that this is all things that's going to build character. And when you go through so many things that's horrible in your life, it makes you appreciate the things that's happening great for you. Because you done been through so much. When you have pain... It all ends at some point. It's never forever. It's never eternity pain. At some point, it has to fade. So when you're going through pain, if it's a pain with a, a muscle pain, it might be a, a, a pain of a relationship that's ending or a pain of a business going downhill, it all comes to an end at some point. I think just remembering that, and understanding that you're able to maneuver in life better because you understand that it's only temporary. So when you feel in that pain, you just got to laugh because it's going to disappear, you know, within seconds when you have that physical pain. Or if it's that business pain, then when that storm is over with, the sun does come out. And I know I'm saying a lot of analogies, but you get what I'm saying. I just want to really land the plane on this because, you know, I know a lot of times people are battling with things and so many things go wrong. I think just one thing that you just got to be mindful of is knowing why are you in the battle? And the only way for you to stay in the battle is for you to know why are you in the battle in the first place when you're going through the situation it's good to reflect on the things that I'm saying so you understand more on how to handle it and how to make sure that you're executing at your highest potential by knowing why you're in the battle. It's performing 
at your highest potential, to understand that everything is temporary, all pain is temporary. Just laugh at it because it's just going to end soon. You know, figure out what is so funny in the situation. That's some of the questions I ask myself. What is something that's funny out of this situation? And just figure that out. What can I laugh about in this situation? I mean, it works amazing. You know, and it brightens your day up. Just a crack of smile, it changes your whole mood. I hear a lot of times that people say, like, man, they're feeling alone when they're going through these issues. You got to understand that in order for you to be at your full potential, you have to choose people that's around you that's going to make sure that you're performing at your highest capabilities. Make sure that you are at your highest standard at all times and push you. Once you around people with the same mindset, you're able to push yourself and push each other as a community or a brotherhood or sisterhood see each other grow and benefit off of it. Sometimes you just might feel like giving up. Sometimes you just might feel like, man, it's over for me. But you can't believe everything you feel. Your mind to try to trick yourself on feeling this way. But in reality, that's not supposed to be the way that you feel. You got to step up out that thing and you just got to say, man, you know what? I'm not feeling this way no more. I'm going to take control of my life. I'm going to take control of my feelings. I'm going to take control over my destiny and I'm going to do something about it. And I'm going to put the right people around me that's going to push me to my higher standards and make me admit to my downfalls and my imperfections and own it because that's what it's about. It's about owning your downfalls because everybody go through things in life. Ups, downs, peaks, valleys. It's about going through those things, those humbling experiences that make you appreciate life. So you just got to have constant reminders, you know, to earn everything in your life, no matter what it is. Earn it. You want that glass of water? Earn it. You want that million dollar business? Earn it. You want that relationship, earn it. Put yourself through that situation to earn what you want so you can appreciate it more. You can appreciate it way better than you're appreciating it before because you didn't earn it. Soon as I wake up in the morning, I earn, I earn my toothpaste and toothbrush to brush my teeth. Because as soon as I get up, first thing I do, push-ups. I got to do 25 push-ups. I got to earn my next step. And we got to figure out how could we do that in our lives to start earning the things that's going to make an impact or things that's going to help us push ourselves. Get out of bed, smile. Boom. Already started one for one. Get down, push-ups, two for two. Earn my toothpaste and my toothbrush, brush my teeth. Now I'm on to the next thing. Want creativity to roll? Boom. Do a quick hike or power walk around the block. Get the juices flowing and earn my breakfast. So you just got to figure out how you're going to push yourself because no matter what you go through, your mind is always going to figure out the easy way out no matter what. Naturally, that's what's going to happen. It's naturally going to try to find the easy way out. Like, nah, you know, why you got to go do those push-ups? Just go brush your teeth. You know, why you got to earn your breakfast? Just get up and just walk to the kitchen. Why you got to go hiking around that block? You ain't got to do that. It's going to try to talk you out of it. So you got to make sure that you push yourself away from that and you leave yourself accountable for what you say you're going to do. Because that's the best way to have self-respect. You have to be self-accountable at all times. How are you going to earn the respect of somebody else when you haven't even earned the respect of yourself? You have to be self-accountable. So if you say you're going to do that, then you got to make sure you do it. Sign a contract with yourself, stating the things that you're going to commit to for yourself and build that self-credibility. Even the most courageous amongst us all have to take risks and tasks that exceeds our capabilities. We got to be ready for that challenge. It's a saying, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. To evolve, you have to confront 
the issues in your life. You have to confront your weaknesses. And you have to figure out how to build on that. It's either you're growing or you're dying. It's no in the middle. People think that, oh, I'm, I'm growing and then like you can put it on pause. Like, nah, it's like you're growing constantly or you're dying constantly. Which one are you? You got to pick. I try to put a routine around me growing every single day so I can make sure I'm on track. Every single day I'm growing, I'm growing, I'm growing. If you put your faith in people, a lot of times people will let you down. You know, matter of fact, people will always let you down. This is how you deal with the issues. It's how you deal with when them people let you down. Either you can be the person that that sees it for what it is and understands, or you could be the person that's depressed wondering why. And just remember this. In the champion story, it's always a message for you. So when you're seeing Rocky Balboa and you're seeing the guy who saved somebody out of the building, the kids and the cats out of a building, it's always a message for you to pick out of that. So pay attention when you're seeing these things and hearing these things and hearing these stories and seeing these certain individuals do certain things. What could you take out of that and implement it into your life? That's something you got to think about when you really look and listen to the things that's happening in the world of heroes and champions, what could you take out of that story? What message could you take out of that story? Even if you're not champion on something, you need to be your own champion. You need to be your own cheerleader. Because sometimes you might not have nobody jumping out with a whole band to celebrate your wins. You got to be your own cheerleader. A lot of people, by them not having that, they try something once and they just give up. That's it. They try one time, it ain't work, they give up. Or they try it, they go hard, it ain't what they thought it was going to be and they quit. Everybody that you see successful, all done had their ups, all done had their downs. But I guarantee you, a lot of them ain't had... Those moments where every single time they have those moments, somebody is in the corner cheering for them. They got to cheer for themselves. They got to pat themselves on the back and say, man, you the shit. You're great. You deserve this. And the reason why I know I deserve this, and this is me talking to myself, is because I hold myself at a higher standard at all times. I take responsibility and make it a part of my life. If I mess up, I take ownership in that and I figure out how can I make that better. By me thinking this way, it's always thinking positive, that positive power. You know, write down the things that that's happening to you and take responsibility for them. Because when you take ownership, you're able to turn that ship around and figure out what you not doing correctly and fix it. Empower yourself. Empower your mindset. Your mindset is controlling your future. Don't become that victim. Don't have that victim mentality. Oh, it's her fault. It's his fault. You know, it's, it's, it's this person's fault. Everybody but your own fault. You have to find motivation in everything negative. Period. Because it's always going to be negative people around you. It's always going to be negative things that happen to you. So just figure it out. Correct your mindset. Don't dwell on things too long. Take ownership. Figure out the things that's not going right in your life. Take ownership and fix it. Challenge yourself. Earn things. Just don't give it to yourself. Make yourself earn it. Hold yourself to the highest standard. Keep people around you that's going to hold you to higher standards. And you hold them to higher standards. And go out there and go switch your mindset. All right? So I need everybody to go ahead and I don't care who you are. If you're listening to this, I need you to end this and go and leave me a rating, please. (laughs) This is one of the only ways that I get feedback that, drives me to keep doing this thing is reviews and also 
telling somebody who you feel like needs to hear this and that's going to actually benefit off of the things that I'm saying. To share it on your social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, tag me so I can reshare you. This is what makes me happy by seeing those reviews, seeing people subscribe to the podcast, looking at my numbers on the back end, and really celebrating on the success of getting this word out to the people and my people. All right? So make sure you guys rate the podcast. Make sure you tell a friend and tag me on social media. I love you guys. See you on the next podcast. Let's go.